Hey everybody, PJ here. Been a while since I made a video on radio stuff. Uh, I'm going to show what I've done with my homemade uh, coil. I've taken it off the truck. Uh, I just ain't in the same vehicle enough to use it mobile. So going back to my backpack idea. And uh, I had a little whip that was like 58 inches long on there before. And I had an idea yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I got an old Kushcraft uh, two meter antenna that I don't use. So it's like, hey, I bet I can make a telescoping, telescoping, scoping, however you want to say it, <laughs> a whip for this thing. So that's what I did. I cut it off and I can adjust that. I can move that all the way out to eight feet. But in the process of doing that, I learned something. Now, I don't know if I learned something that works on every antenna, but it's definitely going to work on my homemade coil because I got a 30 foot counterpoise just laid on the ground. Uh, didn't really make no difference with it up in there. I put it on the stob. It uh, didn't make no difference, so I just laid it on the ground. Uh, but it definitely makes a difference with it on if you don't put it on. Uh, I've got 25 foot of coax run up uh, down here in the yard but what I found I was thinking the 8 foot whip would really make a difference uh, but that actually <laughs> ended up being the opposite uh, what I've got here which I had to take the shunt that I had on there on the vehicle on the vehicle you got to put the shunt on it uh, I took it off as soon as I did on 40 meters the lowest I could get was a 3.5 uh, SWR on it, on the uh, analyzer. As soon as I took the uh, shunt off in the lowest point, it dropped to a 1.1. So the counterpoise taken up for the shunt uh, and the ground. But not to make it too long, what, or this video too, too long. This is 41 inches. I started playing with the height, which is definitely the opposite of what I thought it would be uh, eight foot I never could get it what was happening when I moved it eight foot is 40 meters would be like way up here somewhere uh, actually I think that was it right there uh, so I was like in the middle of the coil well I was like I want to use the whole coil for all bands so I started playing with the heights and the old one I had on there was like 58 inches I think and uh, I never could get like 10 meters good with it. So again, I started playing with the heights and I got a lot of antenna left if I ever need it. So I can actually pull that out to a uh, eight foot if I want. I've got the uh, three eighths, 24 thread bolt in it, bolted to it. Uh, so I can uh, screw that off, put it on a mag mount or something if I wanted to change the heights. Uh, so I got a uh, cheap telescoping whip either way because uh, they ain't cheap when you try to buy them. So I gave $50 for the Kushcraft and figured, hey, I don't use it. It's $50 extendable whips, better than 75 to 100 and something. Anyway, now what I got, 40 meters is right there, 20. No, 20. That's 20. That's my old mark there. I need to clean that off. So 40 is way down here. That's it right there. This right here is 20, 15, and 10. Right there. And you see 10 goes almost up to the top. 40 almost goes all the way to the bottom. So now I'm able to use my entire coil. If I was to lengthen that any, I'll lose 10 meters. Uh... So to speak, if I shorten it any, I'll lose 40. I can't get 80 with this. I even tried even with the eight foot, it didn't give me 80. That's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna just make it shorter and see what happens. So that's what I did. But that's where I'm at. Uh, I got it all put together where I can take it apart and do what I want to with it here and there, clean it out. Uh, I gotta fix my connectors on it. The buddy pole connectors did not work good uh, on the uh, 12 gauge wire. 
they're probably made for like 14 or something uh, so I got to figure out some way to connect that a little bit better where I can move it from one to the other maybe put some tabs on these or something or if that stays good I might just be able to do that I'm just sliding that in but I'm afraid it ain't gonna get a good connection even though it's getting one to get my meter but anyway this is what I got I got it all wrote down and if you can see with a 41 inch whip 30 foot po uh, counterpoise on the ground these are my readings <laughs> you can't you can't beat that uh, and it's all in one I don't have to do anything uh, I put this up make sure that that's at 41 inches make sure I got my counterpoise out now I'm sure depending on the ground surface where I'm at it might change a little but as long as I make that where I can move this either way I can fine tune it just a little bit or I can fine tune it by either moving that a quarter inch here and there or whatever but that's it I gotta take these old tabs these are the tabs I had on it when it was on the truck uh, I was using that with the buddy pole thing I'll take them off don't need them now it's not going back on the truck uh, this will be put in this coil fits in my box with my radio tuner if I want uh, and everything else the only thing that don't fit in the box is the uh, whip and as short as it is I could probably make it <laughs> to where it would I could cut cut this down and but then I wouldn't have an eight foot whip though so that's still a thought I may end up I don't know cutting it down to where the entire thing will fit in the box and then I can just pull it out and get it 41 inches and make it a dedicated whip but I do like the idea that if I want to put an 8 foot whip on something I have that option so anyway just rambling uh, I know people are asking I ain't made a video on it show sure how I got it together it's 3 8 uh, all thread Got a coupler here. This nut here fastens. I slide the uh, counter pulls down over it and then just tighten that up to it. Then I think it's quarter 20, or not quarter 20, but 20 thread, uh, 3 eighths 20, uh, which is what that is on the bottom. Fed in here. The ground is attached from the bottom of the uh, SO239 to the bottom. Of that center conductor goes through comes out sorry comes out right there attaches just with a screw and a connector so I can change this if I want to so then them just pin together like I say then the SO 230 239 right here is uh or sorry it's so yeah you know what i mean <laughs> grounded right there can't tell you how much actual wires on that thing i want to say i had a 50 foot roll and just kept on going but give me just a second i actually get my tape measure and i can tell you how long i made it but give me just a second. I wasn't ready for that. I'm going to pause this for just a second. All right. From the bottom of that uh, end cap to this one is 13 and roughly three quarters. And then that's just weed eater, weed eater line in between it. The wire comes out at the top, connects underneath that nut to ground it so I got continuity all the way up into the radio down here it's cut off so the wire comes out from from the top down through goes all the way down and stops right here it's not connected to anything on the bottom and all I'm doing here is making the uh, center conductor longer and up so that just makes the wire basically longer the antenna so 
like I say, I don't have a measurement on the uh, on the wire itself, so I don't know how much I used. But like I say, in between the two end caps, 13 and three quarters. So I just wrap to that point, drill your hole, put it in there, and that should give you enough uh, enough turns. That's an inch and a quarter pipe, is what that is. So easily made. One of these days, I'm gonna take it somewhere and we'll test it out on the radio portable. It's busy time of year this year, or this time of year for us, so I don't get out as much doing stuff like that, but definitely gonna have to while it's pretty. All right, that's really about it. Make you one, it's easy to make. And I know it works. It worked on the truck. And I wasn't getting as good at SWR as I am on the ground. So I, I have no doubt it'll work now. But we'll try it out one day. I just wanted to show you what I got going on, how I made it. And a little bit of the measurements. So really simple to make. Covers all bands except for 80 meters. And you could get 80 meters if you probably made that coil a lot longer. It'd have to be a lot longer, though. So I'm not worried about 80. But y'all have a good day. Love it. Getting ready to leave, start getting ready to turn. Feels good out here. <laughs> y'all have a good day.